Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. We've been talking about severe weather that has been impacting the valley since early this morning. No severe thunderstorm watches or warnings currently in effect, but what we do have is a flash flood warning that is in effect for portions of Owen County into Clay County and into uh, Green County here. This is the uh, flash flood warning that's going to be in effect through right around 630 this morning. One warning remains in effect over in Illinois, and that's Crawford County, including the city of Robinson through 5 o'clock. As central time. So again, these are the current flash flood warnings that we've been looking at. But and on top of that, we also have flash flood advisories that have been issued for a good portion of the Wabash Valley here over in Illinois through 630 central daylight time for Vigo County into Sullivan County and over in Monroe County for Indiana. Those flash flood, that uh, flood advisory rather in effect through 830 Eastern daylight time. We've certainly had some impressive rainfall totals so far. In the past 24 hours down in Alney, Illinois, just under four inches of rain. That's a significant amount of rainfall in a short period of time. Robinson just under two and a half inches, just over three quarters of an inch here in Terre Haute. So again, significant rainfall total so far. We're not quite done with the rain just yet. Take a look at your Storm Team 10 storm tracker. We are looking at the most potent part of this line of storms exiting to our east, but still as we head down through Knox County into Davies County and into Martin County, still looking at a significant amount of lightning exiting Martin County now. Heading a little further to the north, this is Sullivan County into Green County, where you see the yellows and oranges. Those are pockets of moderate rainfall. But the good news is it looks like the lightning has been eliminated from this area. Same deal up in Owen County. So we're going to see some pockets of heavy rain, but as far as the storm activity, looks to be quieting down for us this morning. And as we continue to lift northward, just some light showers extend up into uh, portions of Park County into Putnam County and Vermilion County, Indiana. I do want to take you back down south, though, where the most potent area of lightning continues, and this is going to be your lightning potential over the next 30 minutes. Still going to be pretty widespread throughout Martin County, but that's about it. Lightning potential quieting down for the rest of the valley this morning. All right, let's talk about the bigger picture here. All of this is associated with a cold front that's passing by this morning. You can see this frontal boundary extends all the way back into portions of Missouri and even to the Great Plains states. As this frontal system continues to push off to the south and east, high pressure will build in to our northwest and that will actually bring us in some quiet conditions as we head into later this afternoon into this evening and then a very pleasant day on Wednesday. So for this morning, picking future cast up at seven o'clock, you can see the lingering effects of the system as it exits. Right around 9 a.m. is when things will start to quiet down for us. Although, even though the widespread rain moves out, can't rule out the chance of a few lingering showers, especially through the first part of the day. Here's lunchtime right around noon. And then by about 5 p.m., skies are going to clear out for us. And we'll get in on a little bit of sunshine later this afternoon and certainly before the sun sets this evening. So as we break down your forecast again this morning, the rain will continue. Even some areas of lightning and thunder, so do be cautious of that and certainly be cautious of areas of flooding that have occurred. Heading through midday today, it's going to be rather cloudy. Again, a few isolated showers possible, but the main rain will be done by noon, and then skies become partly cloudy by 5, and temperatures rebound near 83 for this afternoon. Through the overnight tonight, again, high pressure doing its job. As skies clear out, temperatures fall back into the lower 60s, so a little cooler tomorrow morning as we are waking up to numbers in the mid to upper 60s this morning. Middle 80s for your Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. No complaints there. Wednesday will be the best day of the week because it really heats back up come Thursday. We also bring rain chances in for your Thursday afternoon and that will continue through the end of the week. So for today, looking for areas of showers and storms, especially this morning. Then skies turn partly cloudy this afternoon. Temperatures again topping out in the mid 80s. Through the overnight tonight, turning mostly clear and cool or a low near 61. So again, not as warm. And then for tomorrow, it's going to shape up to be a pretty pleasant day. Mostly sunny skies for your Wednesday. Heading to the end of the week, though, again, isolated showers possible on Thursday with the high near 90. Then heading through the end of the week, Friday will be mostly cloudy with scattered showers and storms. Those showers and storms do continue through the first part of the day on Saturday. Then it turns much cooler by next weekend. Check that out. Daytime highs only in the upper 70s.